it's Amelia bringing you another Microsoft PowerPoint video. In this video, we'll take a look at different animations including entrance, emphasis, exit, and motion path animations. Let's get started. So after adding some content and graphics to your presentation, you could add a little bit of flair by adding animation to your objects. You want to try not to add too much animation, especially on every single slide, because if you do, it may look unprofessional or it may make your audience a bit dizzy. So let's take a look at the animations which are available in the animations tab. First, I'm going to go ahead and click on an object and then I'll click animations. And to see all the animations, I'm going to click on more, which is this little horizontal line with the down arrow. The animations are grouped now in categories. So we have entrance animations, emphasis animations, exit animations, and then motion paths. So I'm going to go through a few for each. I do want to mention that motion paths allow you to pick either a line here that's in a certain direction to move your object, or you can create a custom path if you wanted to control the direction of how your object is moving. There's also additional effects underneath more entrance effects and show you that there's even more emphasis effects as well, as well as exit effects and motion path directions. Okay, so I'm going to pick out a few to show you. So again, my object is selected. So for entrance animation, this would control how your image will initially appear on the slide. So one that I do like to use a lot is fade and it's subtle and it's professional and I do use that a lot. There's some that are a bit fancier that you probably only want to use if the occasion calls for it. Another one that I like is called float up, but it's not available in the first row here. You have to go into more entrance effects and then go into moderate and then you'll find float up. That's one that I like and that's what it looks like. And once you apply it, if you want to preview it, just click on the preview here on the left and then you can preview that animation. If you want to apply a second animation with the first animation applied, you could see this little number one. Then you would click add animation and let me go ahead and pick something totally different. How about this bounce effect? Okay, and now what you notice is that there's two animations here. If you wanted to change and move maybe the bounce for the first animation, then what you would do is click on number two and then click move earlier. Now, if you have a lot of animations, you might want to click here and open up the animation pane and it's going to list all the different animations you have. So you can do different things in the animation pane. You could play all your animations. And you can also reorder by just hitting this up or down arrow. So let me get back to the animations and show you just a couple others. This time I'm going to select the second object and I'm going to go into the more again and I'm going to just pick like one or two in the emphasis, like for instance, a pulse. That's kind of cool. I'll look at, we'll look at that again. And when I hit preview, it's going to show you all the uh, animations on the slide. But if I just wanted to see this particular one, I can just uh, click play from and then it will just show me just that particular animation. Now there's also exit animations. I don't use exit animations all that much. I guess it depends on your content, but sometimes you would need to apply an exit animation, for example, if you want a particular object to have a really strong exit. Like for instance, if you had a picture of a car and you want it to um, have the car like flying on the bottom of the screen, you can use um, an exit animation like a fly, fly from left or fly from right. Um, or what you can do is use the motion path. So for instance, I don't know that this is the best example, but say we wanted this piece of apple pie to fly off of the screen. We could use an exit animation like fly out, or we could use like a custom path in the motion path. So if I click custom path, I just draw the path that I want. So I'll just make it kind of crazy here. And then when I'm finished, I hit the escape key and there you go. That's the custom motion path. 
So now that I have several animations added to different objects on this slide, let's take another look at the animation pane on the right. Now the reorder, like I said, you could click on something and reorder it. So number four here, if I wanted the custom motion path to execute first, with this particular animation selected, I can click on this up arrow and then I can move it say to number one. And then when I preview it, you'll see that that will execute first. So I also want to show you how to remove an animation. Let's say, for example, I wanted to remove one of these animations here. As you could see, as I mouse over it, it's either red or white. So let me go ahead and click on number two. Then I could just hit the delete key and then that would remove that particular animation. The other thing you could do is you could click and just make sure whatever animation you want to select is in red. And then once it's selected, you can just go up to the top here and click none. And that would also remove that particular animation. And next I'd like to point out that you can also apply a trigger to further control when your animations play. So trigger is located here in the advanced animation group. And when I click trigger, and I click on, click of, you'll notice that I have the choices for my other objects here. So you can choose to have the animation occur upon clicking on another object, or for instance, when media playback reaches a bookmark, which you would do in here. Now, for instance, let's say you have music and at a certain point, or maybe when the music ends or whenever, wherever you have a bookmark, then you could have the animation play at that time. If you need more information about how to add a bookmark to, for instance, video or audio, you could learn more about inserting media into your presentation in my PowerPoint video number 12. And finally, what I'd like to do is I have a sample presentation open that has some really cool animation. This is a template I found. I'm going to go ahead and press F5, which is the quick way to start a slideshow. And notice it has a nice uh, ripple effect and that just has a fly in. That's uh, a neat way to present a quote. This I like in particular has like a float up effect for each point here on this slide. Now some of the slides here have transitional effects and transitional effects I'll have more information in my next video number 16 on how to use uh, slide transitions. So I'm going to return back to the slideshow now and show you ways that you could maybe get ideas and leverage existing animations from templates. And this particular one, if you wanted to leverage some of the animations, what you can do is look on the different slides and to determine what animations are being used, you would click on a particular object. Now this one has multiple animations. So what you can do is open up the animation pane and you could see that this animation is a custom animation that's created with a series of shapes. So if you wanted to take that particular animation and incorporate it into your presentation, you can just right click and then copy it and then paste it into your uh, presentation. Now let's look at a couple other slides. Let's look at one more. The one down here that has the different objects. Uh, let's preview that just to give a look. So if we look at the animation pane, you could see that the objects have a with previous and on click and they use the fly in. And if you want to see the direction, you can click effect options and then you could see if it's from bottom and let's see one of these lines fly in from bottom. So that gives you an idea of how to leverage animations and use the animation pane to help you in your presentation. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment below. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.